Hi, welcome to easyrecipes.com.au. Today we're going to make a nice cheese herb amber, something for Australia Day. Okay, so we're going to start with a little bowl to mix everything up in. We've got some oregano and some chives here. We'll just give them a rough chop. They're going to go into the bowl. That we're going to add one teaspoon of baking powder. We'll give it a little stick. A little fancy double acting machine. Tip that. Put a bit of air into it and get any lumps out. Great little machine. To that we're going to add some butter. 75 grams, cut up into little cubes. Some cheese, half a cup, around about 75 grams. We'll put in some milk and some chili, which is already chopped up. I like chili, I'm a bit of a chili person. Give us a little stir. I'm going to put some gloves on. I see a lot of chefs just mix food with their bare hands. It's probably not a real good practice. So, we're going to mix that all up in there. Just going to rub all the butter and flour in together. We're going to add our milk. I'm just using a light milk. And to that we're going to grate in a little bit of sweet potato. Just run our knife around the outside, get rid of that skin. Get that out of the way. Give me a little fancy grater here. Probably about as old as I am. But later on we're going to take this and we're going to put a guacamole inside it. Barbecue some prawns and serve them up with it. Fine. Give it all a good need. So we work a bit more flour into the dough. We're going to knead it for a couple of minutes. Ooh. What a fun job this is. So you just keep adding small amounts of flour to make a nice firm dough and give it a good knead when it starts to stick and scrape all that up put a bit more flour down and push it into it you see it's got a nice bit of colour through it so in total we've used about three cups of soft raising flour with a bit of extra baking powder added to it to help it rise a bit more. All right, we'll get that into a nice shape and let it rest for a few minutes. Now we'll get our knife and we'll cut a few marks into the dough so that it'll separate properly. When it's cooked. So we're going to cook this dough on a pizza stone. Quite hot. Put flour on the bottom, make sure it doesn't stick. We'll stick that in the oven for half an hour on 180 degrees and see how it goes. Okay, so here's our damper. Oh, get that sound. We'll just let that cool down a little bit. 